Hello, I'm Joe Magliato. This is uh, my shop. It's Big Iron uh, Customs in Orange County, California. And uh, I'm going to walk you through a bike I made for uh, uh, the Smith & Wesson company. Uh, this bike, it's got a 120-inch panhead motor uh, from Accurate Engineering. Uh, and we, yeah, it's a, it's a gun-themed bike, but I tried to do it in a way that, you know, at least that I haven't seen done. Uh, just kind of, you know, it's been, uh, how do you do a gun theme bike and have it be original, you know, it's kind of, pretty, kind of difficult. So, so this is my stab at it. You know, we took a, the headlight is a, it's a 90 millimeter artillery round from, uh, from 1945. And, uh, we hammered in the sides. Uh, it's actually, uh, it was a kind of artwork called trench art back in the day. In like World War II, prisoners would, would take shells and, and hammer stuff in there. So we kind of threw a little bit of that in there. Uh, the handlebars, obviously, you know, we made that same thing. The the cross section of that design was uh, it was the same shape of a cylinder of a revolver pistol. That was kind of the kind of that shape was kind of the theme throughout the bike. And then, but then we twisted it back and forth, and uh, and kind of tried to screw it up as much as we possibly could. Uh, the gas tank, it's obviously got the the logo on the side with the S and W. It's a little hard to see, but. Uh, once you stare at it for long enough, you can figure it out. And a little bit of scroll work. Uh, this kind of they represent all the filigree that they put on the pistols. And uh, the air cleaner cover obviously is a uh, is an, again my take on the revolver cylinder, but, but uh, kind of my my spin on uh, what that would be. Uh, the exhaust pipes are again an elongated uh, pistol cylinder. It's kind of like almost gives it a Gatling gun kind of a look, but then we put these little flappers on the back um, so that when you fire up the bike, it kind of makes it a little fun. Put a, one of their uh, 50 caliber rounds in the in the top, the, just, the, just for the heck of it, I guess. Uh, the front fender, uh, to, to try to carry off the same filigree that we were going on the gas tank, and then uh, for them, we use this. The shape here on the tip was one of their uh, one of their big, uh, I guess, developments back in the day when the when the when they, the the, pit, the pistols would break in half so they could load the shells in and then you'd snap it back together. I don't know what the official word of that is, but that was their little hinge mechanism. Um, we kind of we threw in there. Uh, a lot of exile parts on this thing. Uh, uh, Russell's a friend of mine, so we kind of tried to sneak in as much of his stuff as possible. So it's got that clean, scotch brighted finish, and uh, it's basically an exiled frame. And uh, tried to squeeze as many of his parts in there as I could. Uh, the tail light is the, is the same as the exhaust pipes, just a shorter version of the same thing. And then we tried to make a, you know, we put more of the little bolts on the back, and then the, uh, you know, so we, when you step on the brakes, the little red light comes on. and and there you go. Uh, and obviously a brass chain, and uh, no rut, no chrome, and uh, just lots of rust and copper and brass and and uh, steel. That's uh, that's me. It's my style. Hope you like it. And uh, if you want one, just give me a call.